And again, taking home Best Picture, Oppenheimer. The film proving to be New Mexico true, too. Some of the scenes actually shot in Los Alamos at the home of J. Robert Oppenheimer, where he used to live in, and it's still standing to this day. So we got to look inside. A quaint cottage located right on the hill. It may look pretty small in size, but its legacy is huge or rather atomic. You can feel the energy in this home. For two and a half years, J. Robert Oppenheimer called this place home here with his family during the Manhattan Project in the 1940s. Kitty did like the natural light that the big windows provided and Robert liked the large living room. The house filled with unique features from Oppenheimer's home office. His son Peter did tell us that this is where he remembers his father sitting at the desk doing work while he was at home. To Kitty's request to Kitchen. It's a big kitchen though. You wouldn't really think about it, especially again during a time period like right. that. But Kitty wanted a kitchen. The home so original that crews for the Oppenheimer movie wanted to shoot right here. You know, we also shot in a huge amount of the real locations. We shot in Oppenheimer's house in Los Alamos. You've got the landscape people, you've got the camera people, you've got the set people, the costume people. Why would we go to the middle of nowhere for who knows how long? I always try to use real locations as much as possible. In March 2022, it happened. From director Christopher Nolan to A-listers like Killian Murphy and Emily Blunt, stars were seen everywhere. We only spoke to them if they spoke to us because, and you could tell, especially Killian Murphy, you could see the focus and you just did not want to interrupt his process. Leslie Linky says it's an experience she's thankful for. I think the, the movie just shows the importance of this house. But her work isn't over. The home is in need of some major repairs. There's some construction issues in this room, floor issues. Once that's fixed, people can visit and there's some pretty cool things to check out. Now a lot of the furniture you see inside the home was actually used during filming, which is pretty cool and is actually donated by Universal Studios themselves. The house also holds insight into Oppenheimer's life that you can even take home. Now while they lived here, the Oppenheimers were known to host some elaborate parties in their living room right here and that included a pretty strong drink. This is the Oppenheimer Martini. It is four ounces of good gin, a smidge of dry vermouth, lime juice, and honey syrup. So if you're a future scientist or a movie lover. And that is one of the really important reasons to have a home like this, to keep telling the story so that we don't forget. This New Mexico treasure will be sure to educate and preserve a little history along the way. Reporting in Los Alamos, Brian Albizu, KOAT, Action 7 News. Yeah, I had so much fun putting that story together. It was amazing. Now about $2 million is needed for repairs. Once completed, though, officials hope to have the home open for tours. To help out, visit their website, losalamoshistory.org.